Yo, what's up? It's in that Lee Chopper. Check me out on the Bootleg Care Podcast. Let's get it. You know what it is. Bootleg Cab Show special guest here, uh, my guy N.L.E. Chopper, mm-hmm. man. You know what it is. We back here. Yeah, the new album is, uh, well, by the time this comes out, it'll be out. Mm-hmm. Um, first of all, yeah. what are you drinking? Sea moss with spring water. So, Mount Shasta. Um, the sea moss came from Honduras. Fun fact, it came from the same place that um, Dr. Sebi used to get a lot of his sea moss from. The same Dive. So. so help me understand. I mean, I do CMOS, but I take pills, mm-hmm. right? They're probably crunched up. You said that that's not good for you. Yeah, it's not good because the capsules, they weaken the immune system because what they're made out, out of, you know, some of them made out of plastic. Right. Another thing. So um, what it does is temporarily it works, but over the time it's hard to, you know, get, mm. get the plastic and stuff out of right. the immune system. So we're breaking down. So you... This is raw sea moss. You just put it in the water, and this mm-hmm. is your this is your drink. Yeah, the raw sea moss gel. Yeah, yeah. Is it ter- is it good? Is it terrible? Be honest. Uh, I'm used to it now. You know, whatever I feel like, whatever is good for me, I'm cool with consuming it. I ain't really looking for the taste of it. I'm just looking for the benefits. You know. Um, but, I'd like to point. I do think that the first time that people really got to get a real glance of where you were at on yeah. your health shit mm-hmm. on your as they call you Enelie Chakra. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that was when you came on my show mm-hmm. in 2020. Yeah. Um talk about just like uh you know how how do you feel mm-hmm. now that you're like fully, you know, it's been what a year and some change since yeah. you've been living this lifestyle. How are mm-hmm. you feeling? Honestly, I feel I feel the best I've ever felt. Just knowing my purpose, just knowing what I'm here for, you know what I'm saying? Knowing that I'm here to impact people lives deeper than just making music or a song. I feel like I feel like, you know, I'm just happy as I ever been because I know why I'm here. I know me. I know myself. Yeah. So, are you like noticing that like your fans or people who follow you are mm-hmm. starting to try to implement some more health yeah. shit into their life? Hell yeah. A lot of people, you know, my peers, my family. Uh, every time I interview with, interview, have an interview with somebody, it's something they take away that they hit me back or they'll find somebody to reach out and be like, oh, I took this from you. I've been doing this, you know. So, I feel like, just me being vocal about what I go through every day is like it helped change the world, help people around. You know, it's crazy because uh, I think the first time we met, we were talking and I was like, dude, you're super talented. You got a good head on your shoulders. Mm-hmm. I think I met you with your parents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At me. the radio station. Mm-hmm. This was right when your IG got taken away. Yeah, Yo, on me. Might have been the same day. I was high as hell that day. Yeah. Um, and I was like, man, you know, you're always up involved in some fucking bullshit on the yeah. internet, uh-huh. right? Yeah. And I feel like you've matured so much mm-hmm. over the last couple of years. Um, and I feel like mentally you're in a space where a lot of artists just aren't, mm-hmm. right? A lot of your peers aren't really where you are. Um, yeah. But it feels like people are just trying to always drag you drag yeah, you drag back, back into old way. NLE yeah, yeah. or just into some fuck shit. Like, mm-hmm. how, is it hard to not, you know, kind of get back into that mind state? You know what I mean? Um, I feel like it's... At the end of the day, whatever I was in the past is still a part of me. So it's never like it's never like you grow so much that it's not there no more. You know, it's still a part of me. So certain people might get that type of reaction they're looking for out of me. You know, because at the end of the day, I've grown and I'm mature. But at the end of the day, at heart and at soul, I'm the same person. I'm just more mature than I know how to balance it. Like when to be this person and when to be that. You know what I'm saying. So if I'm protecting my name, my brand, my family, my daughter, my son, whatever. I am that person that they once knew me for because at the end of the day, I kill for my fam. I do whatever I got to do for anybody around me that I love or anything that I love. Of course. But it's just about being, having a balance of it, you know, because at the end of the day, it's going to come with with you being good, with you being on what you're doing, with you trying to be positive. You know what I'm saying? That shit going to come. Negativity, haters, it's going to come because it's just the devil working overtime trying to knock you off your pivot. Yeah, and then I also just feel like, you know, like, with the, uh, explain to me is there is there like I, I'm i assuming you don't have any issues with young boy mm, it feels no. like he's just got issues with everyone no I ain't got issues with nobody you know I mean type type lifestyle I live it's, it's no room for that I'm saying I'm focused on too much to be be able to empower what I got going to be able to empower my family to be able to empower myself like that's that's 
just little kid stuff, you know. That's fifth grade stuff to me now. I'm saying we on bigger, better things. I'm trying to change the world. I, I ain't got no problem with nobody. The beef comes from the mind. The beef and the enemy is the mind. Whatever, how I move. And pride. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is, so. That's some real shit. Um, you push back your album a week, uh, Dolphin, and, and uh, you know, obviously everyone who signed to Dolph put out the Long Live mm. Dolph project. Yeah. Out of respect to Dolph, mm. you guys are from the same city. Yeah. Um, what was your guys' relationship like? I mean, I seen them like, I seen them two times, but it wasn't never a relationship that was just built like, you know, I could call on him or right. he could call on me, but at the end of the day, it was mutual respect, you know. Always, it wasn't never anything. But at the end of the day, when I was younger, I looked up to a lot of these people, like you know, the Yo Gaddies. I looked up to Young Dolph. I mm -hmm. looked up to both of them two camps. Cause at the end of the day, if you from Memphis, it's like who you gonna sign to? If you blow it right now, you gonna sign Dolph or Gotti? That's that's like the talk. And I looked up to what they model was, how they did things. And when I blew up, instead of signing either one, I said, you know what? You Why can't I be like them guys? Yeah. So now I got my own label. They so. inspired you to just. Yeah, because you stayed indie, you could assign mm -hmm. to anybody. Yeah, for real. That's big. Um, what just being from Memphis, what did Dolph mean to the city? Like that's a mm -hmm. that's a really serious loss, man. Um, independence more more than anything. I know from my standpoint, because that's on my mom teach. You know what I'm saying anything, anybody that teach what my mom preaching and what I was brought up on, I rock with. So independence and and at the end of the day, family. You know, I feel like he had he had like two or three kids. He had a he had a girl. Mm -hmm. I'm saying he a family person. So when stuff like that happen, I don't even think about the person. I think about the family and the kids. You know, that's where it hit home, and that's where it hit most. At 100. Mm -hmm. Um, are you are you still in Memphis or? Yeah, I, I live in Memphis, but if I'm not in Memphis, I'm out here a lot of the time. But I like to create that balance because there's certain things I want to implement in my city, and I feel like if I'm out of touch with. My surroundings of the city. I won't really know what the city needs. Right. Well, I mean, because some people in your position might leave Memphis. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people leave their hometown, maybe go to Atlanta just to kind of get out the way because usually you got more haters in your hometown than anywhere yeah, always. else. Always. Sure. Um, so for you, it was like a conscious decision to stick mm -hmm. around because you want to give back to the city and you want to make sure you kind of have. Yeah. And just know how to move. You know, it's all about how you move when you're in these places, you know. Don't never go out of bounds. I always stay in your same routine. Whatever you do, if you have to go out of bounds, don't do it unless you really have to go somewhere that you don't go every day. You know, if you ain't, if you ain't eating, if you ain't at my house, if you ain't at grandma's house, be at home doing what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Getting your peace together. Because I can come out here and I can move around because I know how to work. I work out here. But if I'm at home, I'm trying to develop a type of thinking space or a type of peace. So I'm not really in the mix. I feel like being in the mix, that's when stuff goes wrong. I mean, the inbounds, out of bounds. There it is. Um, you were talking earlier that you feel like you've reached the peak of your meditation. Right? Yeah, yeah. So what, explain to me um, how meditation has been for you and just like what what is – I don't think people understand like exactly how to do that. Mm -hmm. Like it's yeah. – it's, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. give us that breakdown and like when you say you reach the peak of your meditation, what do you – you know – what are you alluding to? So pretty much like as I mean, okay, so when I first started meditating, I was receiving visions same day. I like I like meditate and my eyes would like take like lights. Like I could meditate with a certain type of squint. And my eyes, it was crazy. It used to be able to take like certain pictures or whatever that was in my eyesight and bring them together and make visions out of them. It was crazy. It was like some shit I'd never seen before. Like um, one thing. One thing I cannot remember, it was some delivery company. I think it was FedEx or something. Some damn UPS or something. I was looking at it while I was meditating, and I think I broke down the whole letter, and it made like a symbol. It was like an eye and some more. It was like weird. I was breaking down everything. Like my third eye was really moving. I would have dreams. I have like strong-ass dreams where I'd be able to feel like I was really there. I still have those dreams, but... It was more stronger because it was something I wasn't accustomed to. It wasn't a lifestyle. It was like getting introduced to it. But now it's like I still have those dreams, but I don't more so have like the visions or certain things like that. But um, I feel like I just reached the peak of my independence of meditation. Now I want to implement certain things like like tribal with meditations or like meditating with like a group of people, like certain stuff that can strengthen what I got going on. Like mushrooms. Yeah, or shrooms too. Or have you ever heard of ayahuasca? Ayahuasca, I have heard of that. I have heard you of that. You got to go to... They come off a plant, huh? 
Yeah, you got to go to Costa Rica, get a shaman, mm. prepare, drink that shit, and mm. then, you know. Work. Yeah, I heard of ayahuasca. I heard of some too. Where reset. Is, is, is that not where it resets your whole mind? Yeah, that's what yeah. they say. Ayahuasca, yep. They, they say reset. it's like, ther- like, I had a friend do, do it, and he said it was like 30 years of therapy in like one day. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, I'm that's like, cool. shit. <clears throat> that's pretty that's pretty deep um yo how are you i feel like you know i saw the tweet you sent out recently about how you were saying that you, when it comes to music you can't get nothing right yeah yeah yeah. seemed like a, you were frustrated when you sent mm-hmm. that tweet yeah um how, where's your mind state at man what mm-hmm. was going through your head when that happened mm-hmm. just 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 what's going Hon- on honestly like first and, first and foremost it's like it's like never really a frustration thing to me it's more so of remember this shit like just like it's never like oh man that right. fuck you were down on yourself yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's, just, it's never there it's more so of like I'm gonna show you motherfuckers like I can show you better than I can tell you where I'm gonna be at you know what I'm saying I'm not finna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna let y'all have the jokes I'm gonna let y'all have the talk and I'm gonna let y'all have the science stuff I'm gonna, I'm gonna let y'all do that but everything come around full circle motherfuckers gonna they gonna be like oh damn he said that and you know people gonna be on my dick just watch Cause like at the end of the day, I look at it like this: people only see a glimpse of what you really got going. They don't never see what you're doing mm-hmm. like behind the scenes. I work my ass off like every day. I'm working hard as fuck. Like I work, my work ethic is unmatched, and I can I can vouch like it's unmatched. Ain't nobody doing what I'm doing, so I know what's mine is coming to me. I know it's already here. It's gonna be this year. So I, I sent that. I said I'm gonna make sure I get this tweet out January. So when it comes December 31st, they're going to say, God damn, Chop had a hell of a year. Mm. And it's going to be fat. And they're going to remember that tweet. Is it hard for you to not pay attention to outside noise or not pay attention to like, obviously you're on social media. Mm-hmm. You know, I know people, some people like I know that don't fo- they just don't follow nobody. Yeah. They don't look at the comments mm-hmm. and, you know, they kind of try to step, step outside of, you know, maybe just looking at a lot of shit. Yeah. I mean, certain outside noise fuels me. It drives me. I use it as motivation as far as, like, getting down. I get down. Probably I get it. I get the slightest bit of questioning, like, why? You know what I'm saying? But with every why, you know, with every question that I say why to, um, it's just, it just it develops some type of drive in my brain and the body to make me want to keep going anyway. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like I just use it as fuel. It fuels me. If everybody was if everybody was on my dick, if everybody was good, if everybody was cool with what I was doing, I'd be relaxed. I'd be, you know, if you're doing good, that shit gonna come. So uh this year, man, you said you're you're gonna have a crazy twenty twenty two. Obviously the album is out, so mm-hmm. go get the album if you're yeah, watching this, so. it's already out. Um but what else I mean, how many, are you dropping just a ton of music this year? You got what, man, what? I'm dropping a ton of music, I'm dropping a ton of gems, I'm doing a lot outside of music, what T V shows, movies, I'm in them. I'm saying herbs. People need herbs. Come to me. Whatever. No, I'm. Are doing. you are you hustling the health? Are yeah. we are we moving some some herbs in these streets? Some yeah. CMOS? I've been doing it last year. I um I moved a lot of herbs. I had a website NLE Health and Wellness. You can check it out. I got CMOS. I got Herbal Viagra. I got Herbal Viagra. Yes, sir. All mm. of that. Is that like at the the shit at the gas station? Nah, it's it's better. Like the the rhino pill. Yeah, it's or the honey it's pack. Natural, though. It's like a powder. You know. They say that stuff's natural. I don't believe them. This shit ain't natural. If it's in a gas station, it ain't natural. So they you put some in this. You've tested the Herbal Viagra. Yes, sir. And it works. Yes, sir. Your lady's here. It works. <laughs> nah, she she ain't she ain't she ain't felt that all. You know. Um. <laughs> Honestly, CMOS or Herbal Viagra too itself. Really? Shout out to CMOS. <laughs> so to anything say. CMOS doesn't do? Honestly, Will it change my oil? I'm just playing. <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. I'm, I mean, I'm just, I'm just being a dick. <laughs> but yeah, no, nah, for real though. Yeah, it's, it's a natural, it's pretty much a natural Viagra too. So you drink CMOS, get a hard on pretty nicely. No, nah, it's just it helps your endurance in a bed. Like, ah, okay, you okay, don't okay. Get hard off of it, but when you when, when I think of Viagra, do, that's what I think of. Yeah, you know. Six and half of them, you know. Listen, there's this whole wave of motherfuckers talking about not busting nuts. Mm-hmm. Semen retention. Semen retention. Mm-hmm. Kevin Gates talk about it. Joey Badass talk about it. I heard you talk about it. Mm-hmm. Please elaborate. No, it's, it's good for you. Um, first and foremost, your, your, your ejaculation, your nut is, is life. So once you give a part of life away, 
you lose a part of life. You know, um, I tell everybody this example. With one nuts, you can run eight miles. It's like the equivalent to eight miles. You know how many miles? You know how many footsteps that is? One really? Nut. Wow. If one nut can make a whole child, you think you can't. You can't, you know what I'm saying? You can't go the extra mile to do your work or do extra stuff within that. You know what I'm saying? So it's better to keep it in and you'll feel better. Like, just go on the same retention. Like, you know. How long? Oh, just try, like, how, how often you have sex? I mean, often. I'm married. My wife's beautiful. We be fucking. You know what I'm saying? So, like. <laughs> just, just try. More. I feel like my wife would be offended if I didn't come, though. She'd be like, what the fuck? And I'd be like, no, I'm I Elderly Chopper. Like, <laughs> 18 year old kid told me I, I, to, to re, re, yeah, do semen retention. <laughs> so, um, okay. So, is it hard to, like, not get your um, shit off? You got to have a goal. If you put a goal in place, if you be like, okay, this week I want to record seven songs. Uh-huh. And that's like a song a day, you know. If that's your goal, attack it. You know what I'm saying? But with you having sex and busting a hundred nuts, it might not be possible because let me make it more realistic. I'm going to speak on my terms. Like, I try to record three songs a night if I'm, if I'm in for a week. If I got a week recording session, I'm trying to do three songs. That's... 21 songs in one week That's a that's an album. album Two albums So You know what I'm saying If that's my focus If that's my approach Going into that week I can't have sex mm. Cause I'm gonna be too tired I, it's, it's, it's certain hours That's gonna be knocked off Which is each nut Each nut A certain hour Will be knocked off So um Once you develop a goal Or a focus Something to drive towards I feel like that's when You implement it You know So when you are doing retention, semen retention, and then you still fuck, right? Mm. I'm just trying to understand this. I haven't done it to where I'm fucking and then like. So you'll I just be celibate. Nothing. Yeah, I just be celibate. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm not fucking and I'm like, I'm not. Sometimes I because I'm just I, wondering if that's the case. When do you know when it's over? No, nah, I ain't got there yet. You know, like when you're like, all right, you good? Because I'm, I'm this. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. So you just have to. You'll tell wifey like, hey, look, the next week I'm chilling. I got an album to finish. Yeah, something like that. I got uh, a, a, ma- a marathon I'm training for. Yeah, something That's like why that. boxers aren't supposed to... Boxing. No, sports. Well, you know, they say you can't, you can't fuck before you fight because it's like it fucks with your endurance and like... Tyson did. Yeah, well, Tyson also Tyson. fought on... He fought on fucking DMT and shrooms and weed <laughs> and cocaine and... He did that whole last fight with Roy Jones Jr. High as fucking balls. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or was it Evander? Who was it? One. Yeah, the recent one. It was yeah, Roy he was Jones. So high. <laughs> no, he was. He was like, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah he m- said he was high. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Tyson, I think. Yeah, Tyson. Beast. Yeah, it's, it's great. Yo, stop at the interview. Got to tell you about our good folks at Odd Socks, man. Listen, go to oddsocksofficial.com. Use the promo code 20% off. Save 20% off some of the craziest socks. You know, they got the Ninja Turtle joints. Uh, shout out to Kool Aid. You know what I'm saying. Shout out to SpongeBob. Plus, they got the Odd Socks Basics. These are my boys right here. I love these right here. You get the plain black, the plain white. Very comfortable. Most comfortable socks in the world, to be honest. You know what I'm saying. Plus, underwear, y'all. Cheese it draws. Come on, what are we doing? Go to OddSocksOfficial.com. Use the promo code Bootleg and save twenty percent off the most comfortable underwear in the world. Fuck all that other bullshit y'all be wearing on your ass. Throw all the methicas in the trash. All that PSD shit. All that shit is all. Listen, man. Put them odd socks on your ass cheeks and thank me later. Hey, question. Would you um with with kind of? I was just talking to uh. A, a, do you know who D Smoke is? Mm-hmm. D Smoke. He was on Netflix Rhythm and Flow. He won the show and he got nominated for a Grammy last year. Um, he's a rapper from L.A. But. We were talking about just the 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 how rappers the new bag to get mm-hmm. is you could get a boxing bag. You can go get a pay per view bag. Would you ever entertain doing that? You know, for you know, let's say maybe an undercard on a fight. I don't really have no reason to do that. I feel like you know. Oh, yeah, what if it was a million dollars? That'd be a reason. I to mean, do I don't it. really move for money. Yeah, well then. But like, I don't know. I jump in the ring and get my if ass it's beat somebody for a I really want to fight. If I want to fight somebody, yeah. Would but you like if somebody be like? Hey, I got a million for you to fight him. Like, ain't no drive. It would have to be someone you'd actually want to fight. fight. Want to knock the fuck out of. Mm. So like, mm. that's fair. I just can't. You know, then that's a lot of dedication. Because whatever Cause you I gotta do, train. I want to train. I'm gonna want to train. I'm gonna yeah. wanna train. Like, I ain't gonna try to go in there with just. 
off past street fights. I want to be able to really you know, go the distance because I get tired of what. So I'm going to really have to train. I'm going to have to take this part of my life off mm-hmm. and do this. I ain't really ready for that. If I get older, if, I'm, if, I, if I done did everything I had to do with my herbs, did everything I had to do with my music, did everything I had to do with TV, food truck, all this stuff, all this stuff is running well, then yeah. But You got a food truck? Mm, vegan food truck. Was it in uh, Memphis? Memphis. Nice. Yep. How how is I mean because the restaurant industry is obviously a hard industry to get into, right? Yeah, but, it's hard. But the food truck eliminates Simpler. a lot of overhead. Simpler, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's going well though. Yeah, it's going good. I broke it out like five times. I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to get a consistent team on it to where we can just have it flowing. But this year is going to happen. It's going to be real consistent. I could see you doing like a eventually a a, a na- nationwide vegan yeah. fast food chain. What? Come on now. Yeah, for sure. That's just a. It's just small steps. Start off like that, so I can learn that, master that, then move to like restaurants. Put some in the city. That's why I like want to stay in the city. I want to put like vegan restaurants. I feel like with me just changing my diet, my mindset changed. So if a lot of niggas in my city eat vegan, the crime rate might just decrease a little bit. And niggas might start thinking a little different. You might be right. I think problem. vegan people are more peaceful. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure is. I, I mean, at least all the ones I know. <laughs> so. Um. When's the last time you eat? Have you have you slipped up and had any meat? Um, meat. Last time I had meat, I accidentally ate some beans with some crump meat crumbles in it. Ah. Uh. Um, I was in the airport and I didn't I didn't know it was beef in there, but like after the third bite, I recognized it was beef. So My you were stomach was fucked up on the plane. You weren't like uh, craving wings and were nah. like, "Fuck it, give me some chicken wings this one time." Nah, hell, never. I won't be right with myself. I'd be lying to myself. No. Do you miss uh what what do you miss the most? That's Nothing. you don't miss any I of the honestly f- don't miss not everything that I eat vegan is an alternative to what I used to be accustomed to. I, some of that shit tastes like rubber though, man. I don't know. Nah, you just gotta season it right, man. Some well, of that some of that fake ch- those fake chicken nuggets. Mm-hmm. Some of that, like the plant based or shit. Yeah. I, mean, like, I stay away from those type it's still that stuff is processed. It's processed. I feel like that yeah. stuff is a science experiment. So I try to stay away from a lot of the I don't know what to call it, but it's like no, it's processed it, food. Yeah, it's not the real. It's not the it's shit that's not, frozen. Yeah, it's boxed up. It's yeah, not the real shit. You know, I try to have like real natural shit. I really, I'm really trying to move towards alkaline. You know, but I feel like a lot of people are not alkaline. You have to have a chef with you. And what the fuck does that mean? Alkaline me like it's nothing. Just really processed. It's more so everything. So yeah, it's like raw, out. like raw food, and not just raw, but like everything is. It's just pH. The pH is higher than seven. Couldn't you just drink a whole lot of pH water? But then, like, what I'm gonna eat? I'm just being. I'm just being ignorant. I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, it's like, yo, let me just go get a bunch of uh, of a, of essentia. And that's another thing. Watch your spring water, the essentia, and the and the fucking what's that other water? What's the little blue one? Well, the worst water is Aquafina and Dasani. That shit tastes like. It says spring water. Oh, dumbass boy. Oh, uh, Evian. That's who. Oh, Evian. Fiji. Fiji. Those three lights. Watch out for those. Like they say it's high in pH or alkaline. And it's only alkaline because of the fucking baking soda. Baking soda makes water alkaline. What so you, how much is this bottle of water? This is, it costs a lot. It's bottled in glass. No plastic in it to fuck up the water and the minerals in it. So everything is. So like a $9 water. bottle of water? I don't know. I buy it by the case. Oh, so this is like your water? Nah, this um, this a story out here. I mean, but they need uh, to. I need to, bro. I need an endorsement. This store, I push this water. Oh yeah, I'm surprised you don't have any endorsements with like some of these like uh, you know, healthy places. No, I gotta meet. I gotta meet CEO for sure. I push this shit because this all I drink when I'm out here. You don't get a ship to uh to to Memphis. I tried once and a lot of them busted. Oh, because of the glass. Yeah, but I try to. I pack them in my suitcase real good when I'm flying back. Um, mm-hmm. yo, that the, the I know you've already spoken about it, but the incident that happened at the airport that went mm-hmm. viral, which is just by the way, some real fuckboy shit will happen. Uh, yeah. Not on your behalf, obviously. Having like some shit like that happen, does it just make you like uh, like a little bit paranoid moving around? Because I feel like when you're popular, not just you, mm-hmm. just anybody, you're mm-hmm. like anybody can try to go viral off of just mm-hmm. putting you in a fucking stupid situation. Yeah, and it's got to be like. 
I mean, I'd be fucking paranoid after some shit like that happened. No, I mean, it's it's a society we living in, bro. You just gotta embrace it. Everybody got a phone. Everybody want some type of cloud or whatever. Um, stuff like that happens so you can move accordingly and prove what was wrong. Why did he get that close? It's just something simple, like making sure security with you 24-7. Not because you're scared of somebody coming. No, because you're smart. Something. You got a family. Yeah, just yeah. because, like, you know. Because what if it, what, what if it was somebody lucky. who was actually. Hey, what if somebody, what if he had a gun? Yeah. You no, know, we in the air, we, in the, we was reacting in the rental car center, so you, you could have had a gun, you know. What if that was the case? What if it was somebody else that was really a threat, you know. So God just do that to let you know for this your year. You finna have one of the best years of your life. You need to have make sure that you are secure mm. everywhere you go. So that was just he he gave me a lot of little test runs and shit this whole month to let me know that this year is gonna be amazing. Cause this this whole this whole month been hell for me, honestly. But he's doing it to to let me peep all the flaws and in the circle and everything that's going on so I can improve it. So when it comes further down the line when I'm in September and something like this was to happen or you know, whatever, we'll be ready to handle it. You know what I'm saying? Um you know, I, I know we had talked to, uh, I said Black Boy JB was here, and I know we talked before in our interview, and you said he was one of the OGs in Memphis that had kind of fucked with you early on. Mm -hmm. Is there anybody who's coming up who you've kind of taken a liking to, who you've maybe given some advice? I know I know you spoke mm -hmm. about a conversation you had with King Von, right? Mm -hmm. But I just mean in general, like, is there any up-and-coming artists that you just are a fan of that maybe you've reached out to or had some, like... Some dope conversations with maybe give me some some game. I got, I got three artists on my label. They from the city. Um, one of them from Arkansas. One of them from Mississippi, and the other ones from South Memphis. But they all pretty much from Memphis because that's where they operate at. So I feel like Fotium Draco, Baby Hot, and Gino two times. Those those three right there, like they the face of pretty much what's coming. Cause um, I'm not just saying it because they on my label. I'm saying it because like. I wouldn't put nobody on my fucking label if you're not talented. You know? I don't see no driving you. So I, I just want to let y'all know, not only is it going to be a great year for me, it's going to be a great year for NLE as a whole. My producer also beats by Draco. So these, them four guys right there, I bet the bank on them. I bet everything on them. That's big. Real. What is, what are, what's like some of the things that, you know, you, you kind of try to, you, I mean, you've experienced this shit as a kid. Mm. You like how long did you turn eighteen? No, I'm nineteen now. You're nineteen now. Mm -hmm. What well, the I just fuck? I just turned nineteen November first. Bro, time flies. Bro. <laughs> yeah, on me. Jesus. I was like seventeen when I was with you when I first came. No, I think you were sixteen the first time I interviewed you last mm -hmm. year. You might. Yeah. yeah when you, no, because yeah. I interviewed you in like yeah uh, the first time July of 2020 here. Yeah, yeah. That was me. seventeen, and then in 2019 we interviewed you. Yeah, on me. Damn, that's crazy. But what, 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 for like, for your artists, what do you tell them? Like the things to look out for, maybe some advice, some shit that like you, you kind of had to learn the hard way, bro. Man, just just watch how you talk to people. Watch how you deal with people. You know, you can your emotions can be feeling one way, but try to hide them. Uh, I let one of my artists know that the most because he be he be going through it with his baby mama, sister, manager, whatever it is. Just tell him. Wait, them. wait, wait, wait. These are different people, right? Mm hmm. I just want to make sure that he, his baby mama, sister, and manager aren't, aren't the same person because that'd be interesting. Well, it pretty much is. No. So his baby mama and his sister. <laughs> that, that's the least of the concern, though. But like, but this you know, is not one human. Okay, I'm it's, sorry. It's just a, it's just a lot of. It is the South. I had to ask, but mm -hmm. continue. It's just a lot of things. It's just a lot of things. Um, you know what I'm saying from different people, you just gotta watch out from. You know, just know everybody ain't got your best interest, and everybody don't want to see you. You know, full of your, full of your, reach your full of potential. So just be on the lookout for it. Keep your head up, stay smooth, and stay out of trouble. That's the best thing you can do. As long as you staying out of trouble, you out the way. You in the studio, you doing what's right. So, what was the one like? Uh, was there like a catalyst to you changing the way you move? Maybe changing like some of your behavior, mm -hmm. staying the fuck out the way, staying out of trouble, staying out of the fuck shit. Like, was there a single like event or something that had happened or right. something that you remember happening where you were like, man, I gotta. I got to really chill out. Man, it's just watching how the world is right now. Just watching the place where everybody in. You know what I'm saying? Just taking note of your surroundings. Taking note of what you're seeing every day. You know what I'm saying? That's all I can do. I can move accordingly about like how how I view things, you know, or what I feel. You know? So just just personal experiences and just watching other shit happen. Who else on the album? 
I got Young Thug. I got G Herbo, Polo G, and one more. Yeah, Money Bag. Me and Money Bag just dropped out a single. Yeah. I saw that. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a hell of a hell of a lineup. Yeah, me good. It was great. Was there anyone who uh, you were trying to get on the album, but maybe because of the deadlines, it didn't work out? Um, Smirk. It was about the only person. He was the only person. Bless me. Um, that was about it. Smirk. Were you in the studio with these, or was it just were you sending the records out to people? Sending the records out to them, and they was just knocking them out. Yeah. Yeah. They got them done on me. 2022 man nobody's getting in the studio together yeah hardly yeah. ever on me it ain't it ain't working like that no more we just had Blueface up here and i told him the first time i ever really uh thought that he was improving as a rapper was on that on the on the, the remix he did a remix with you i uh, yeah and i was like yo that song made me be like oh maybe you aren't a terrible rapper <laughs> yeah on me um W- 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 any more music with Blueface coming? Because I know you guys are maybe uh, like there was some sort of flirtation. Maybe y'all do some more shit together. Like, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, for sure. In the future, future only could do. You got to get him on your health shit and just get him out of the the. the just get him off OnlyFans, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. He's up? he's turning up on OnlyFans. This bitch is fighting every day, and mm. there's a toothless woman who says she's pregnant. It's, it's 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 insane. Um. Anything else, man? Um, obviously, you you're talking about TV. Mm. You said you got TV shit coming this year. Yeah, I'm trying to. It's in the works. Acting? Trying to. Yep, for sure. I'm trying to for sure. What TV do you watch? Like, what what's like in your rotation at the crib? Honestly, I don't watch TV. You don't watch TV? Mm-mm. Nothing. Mm-mm. Don't play video games. I play the game time time. So you play some or YouTube. I'm on YouTube. Yeah, YouTube is like my cable. I don't know. You don't really need anything but YouTube. You can get anything you want on there. Yeah, with me or Netflix. What's your YouTube history looking like? Uh, NLE Chopper reaction videos. <laughs> I just like to watch people talk about me, see what I can improve, what I can't. You say you watch Netflix, so that's TV. What the fuck you watch on Netflix? Oh, just movies, horror movies, whatever. Something mm. set the mood right. No TV series though. No, like you don't get into the episodic oh, shows. The the, tr- the the um Kevin Hart one. Oh, with Wesley was, Snipes. It was a good one. Was it good? Mm-hmm. I've heard about this. It was real good. I mean, Never seen Ozark. Mm-mm. You gotta watch Ozark. Oh, it like it's on Netflix. Wars. That shit's that shit's crazy. Yeah. Some cartel shit. It's pretty wild. Well, look, the album uh, out. Go get it. Uh, you just dropped it. Well, first of all, again, this is. The video's not out yet, technically, but when yeah. people watch this, there's going to be a video out. Yeah, Shot of Plus Six. So, which, what, this video's already uh, shot. Editing. Okay. Editing, waiting on the I coloring. I it now. <laughs> you know what's crazy? Your videos are always extremely fire. Like, there's a few people who always have just consistent visuals. Mm-hmm. Is that all from your brain? Are you coming up with these concepts? I direct, them. I direct every video. That's big, man. Nah, you're super hands on. Like you're like on, like bro, we gotta get this shit colored. And yeah. most people wouldn't even. Most artists ain't ain't hands on with their shit like yeah, that. For sure. You gotta be. You got to be. It, you got a passion for it. You got to. Well, there it is, man. I appreciate you pulling up and um, the CMOS. I gotta tap in. Got you. Whatever. Send me address. I'm shooting it your way. <laughs>